Welcome back to Truck U. So today we've been taking a look at the common problems some people have with Dodge trucks. Well, the truck is handled and that's all out of the way. Now it gives us some time to come on out here and take a look at our buddy's trailer. And we want to take a look at some of the issues that he's having with this. And issue number one is right here with these tires. Now trailer tires are often neglected and they're stored incorrectly. Like right now, this trailer is sitting in dirt and grass and what happens is you've got a lot of moisture buildup and sitting there for months eating at the tire. And in this instance, making it go flat. Well, another misconception that some guys have is, well, I only use that trailer tire four or five times a year, so that thing will last forever. That's not the case. You gotta think about the duty cycle of the trailer tire. It might be used 24 hours in a row, nonstop, and then it'll sit for six months. So there's a really unusual wear and tear pattern on that tire. So you wanna make sure that you have the right tire for the specific job. Now, don't confuse a trailer tire for a truck tire. In this right. instance, he's got a truck tire on the trailer, and they've got completely different needs, so they're built completely differently. Yes. First of all, you look at the tread itself. You can get away with less tread on a trailer tire, which allows you to get more plies in it, makes it stronger, so carry those heavy loads. Now the engineers at Carlisle Tire sent us these and we're going to pop those off and put these back on. These are the Radial Trail RH tires specifically designed for trailer applications. But before we put these on we want to shoot back inside the shop for a second and take a quick look at the anatomy of a trailer tire. I love when we get to cut stuff up. I know it is cool isn't it? Now we can come in here and take a look at a little something I like to call the Carlisle Radial Trail RH Pie. We cut about a quarter of the tire out and now we can take a look at the guts on the inside and see what makes it tick. You know in independent laboratory tests these trailer tires were right there at the top of the heap as far as longevity and as far as holding up went. And this is why man, take a look at that. You cut it open and you can see kind of where the magic happens. Right yeah that's the whole high strength belt package. It's what they call Dura Trail technology and it consists of really three layers. You've got the nylon layer on the outside, mm -hmm. two steel belts on the inside and two poly plies inside of that and the whole idea is to keep the tire together nice and tight you know where a truck tire it might start pulling apart the plies you're going to start getting a lot of heat this keeps it meshed well together tight helps dissipate heat which is one of the biggest problems you have with trailer tires is keeping that heat down yeah heat is your enemy in the world of trailer tires another thing that they have what they call is heat shield technology and really that encompasses all of the rubber in the compound of the tire right there they kind of reinvented it and made this specialized rubber compound that also dissipates heat so those things all work together to try to get that heat out of there keep that tire as cool as possible and make it last as long as it can. Now you take a look at the bead right here and you see all these steel wires in here, probably about twice as many as you'd see on a truck tire and the whole idea is to keep this bead nice and stiff, keep it hooked to the tire, hooked to the wheel, which is obviously pretty important when you're talking about trailering and you want to make sure that you've got a nice stiff sidewall so the trailer doesn't wash out or roll on you when you go around turns. Now let's talk about the tread right there and you've got the shoulder treads on the side, those are nice and you've got the middle ones right here and you can see all the engineering and all the grooves right there and that is done to evacuate water off to the side, keeping that contact patch between the tire and the road as big as possible. It's all about, you know, good contact going down the road. That's the name of the game. So, now, wait, a lot of people, one thing you need to mention is a lot of people don't realize that trailers aren't supposed to be pulled over 65 miles an hour, and that goes into the tread as well, because it's not a high-speed tire, and that's a lot of reason why you have failures as people are going too fast for the tire, causing an excess heat buildup and causing failures. That's a very good point, and I admit I've done that, okay? So I admit it in <laughs> front too. of everybody. But, hey, while uh, we're here, Let's get the tires that we didn't cut up and take those out to the trailer, right? Because this was cool, but uh, it's not, not much good much. to us Yeah, now, right. right? All right, I got one over here. All right, last one. That's it. We won't be needing this anymore. No, file that thing. All right, one tire left, and this job is done. All right, here's something to keep in mind when you're changing out all the trailer tires. You want to make sure you use the right size and use all the same size tires. Like in this case, we've got four of them. Now, the trailer manufacturer will tell us what size tire to use, and you wrap those all the way around. Even if this one doesn't blow, you want to change it when you're changing this one, because if you don't, you're just going to have this one blow on you maybe two weeks down the road, and then right. it's going to destroy the side of the trailer. And you don't want that, so change them all at the same time. Also, the little things. Check the, uh, the tire pressure. You want to make sure you have the right tire pressure in the tires. All you have to do is look on the side of the tire. It'll tell you the max pressure to put into it in the shade. You don't want to do it when yeah. the tire is hot. You want to make sure it's cold. This way you'll keep the tire from overheating. That's one of the biggest problems with trailer tires is they're underinflated. They get excess drag, which causes excess heat, which causes them to pop. So make sure you spend a few minutes, change out all the tires, make sure you have the tire, right tire pressure, and you've got a trailer tire 
on your trailer and you should be good to go. It's just like all the other automotive parts, man. Excessive heat is really, really bad, right? You know what's nice about these Black Rock wheels? Take a look at this. This little cap goes on and off right here so you can grease that thing without having to pull the whole tire off. Just a nice little thing in the whole package. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I think we're done, right? That's it, buddy. Cool. We'll see you guys next time right here on Truck U. Why don't you give me that sandwich? You know, you might want to watch the curb checking too. That's another bad <laughs> thing. Just something to think about.